Um, so up next, we have a special concert for the Sycamores, which is a joint presentation from Green Cambridge and the Multiverse Concert Series in partnership with the City of Cambridge Community Development Department. Um, first up, we're going to meet Jen Lawrence, who's our sustainability planner for community development. And Jen has been an incredible partner uh, working on the Stream Festival with us. Uh, she's been putting together an amazing array of climate action art pieces for our Climate Pavilion page on the Stream Festival website. Um, and she's worked with Stephen and uh, from Green Cambridge, Stephen Nutter from Green Cambridge and David Ibbett of the Multiverse Concert Series to make this next concert possible. Um, so please join me in welcoming Jen Lawrence, uh, the, our sustainability planner from the Community Development Part, uh, Department of the City of Cambridge and the curator of the Climate Action Pavilion for the Stream Festival. All right. Great. Thank you. Um, and my apologies if you hear the animals in the background. I try to get away from them, but they, they like to get in. My name is Jennifer Lawrence, and I am the sustainability planner for the Community Development Department at the City of Cambridge. We are honored to once again be hosting the Climate Action Pavilion and thank Cambridge Arts for having us again. This year, we've collaborated with some of the most effective, passionate, and artistic environmental minds in the region to bring together a spectacular virtual celebration for you in honor of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Don't miss out on arts projects with Groundwork Somerville, Blue Bikes, and Carolyn Lewinberg, tips and tricks for taking climate action from the Community Development Department, the Cambridge Energy Alliance, and Public Works at home lessons for the family with the Mystic River Watershed Association and the MIT Museum, games and videos from the Charles River Conservancy, Mothers Out Front, Green Cambridge, the Cambridge Police and the Charles River Watershed Association. And finally, workshops you can do from home with our Safe Roots to School program, Mass Bike, the Public Library and Extinction Rebellion Mass. These amazing programs will be on the Stream Festival website for the next couple of months. Uh, so please check them out. And you can find out more about the work of the Community Development Department on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Our handle is CDD at 344. And without further ado, I am so excited to introduce the concert for the Sycamores in honor of the Heritage Tree Program, hosted by Greg Cambridge and the Multiverse Concert Series. And now the concert for the Sycamores.
Hello, my name is Quinton Zondervan. I'm a Cambridge City Councilor and also a board member of Green Cambridge. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful music. I've been involved with Green Cambridge for almost a decade now, uh, starting in 2011, when I helped revive the organization and served as the board president and acting executive director. And today we are celebrating the sycamore trees. And I, growing up in Suriname in South America, I was surrounded by the rainforest and always had a sense of the overall ecology that we are a part of and how everything is connected to each other. Here in Cambridge, we have our own version of ecology. And of course, in this particular moment, we are all aware of the racism and the violence that is being perpetrated against Black Americans and many people in our society. And these things are, again, interconnected. When we can't breathe because of oppression, because someone is choking us, we also can't breathe because of pollution. Injustice is expressed in many ways and gets built into uh, our urban environment, even here in Cambridge. The power plants that spew the poll pollution get placed in the black neighborhoods. The trees are not planted in the black neighborhoods. The flooding is allowed to proceed unopposed in the black neighborhoods. Now, of course, we are taking action on all of those things in Cambridge and elsewhere, but it's not enough. And trees are a particularly important part of our urban ecology and present an opportunity for greater justice. Trees bring peace. It has been studied and shown that trees can reduce violence and even reduces car crashes because of the impact that the presence of trees can have on our well-being. Many years ago, when I was in California on a very hot day, I walked out of a parking lot and into a grove of eucalyptus trees and I could feel the cooling and the calming of the presence of those trees. It was really a transformative experience for me in understanding how important it is to have trees in our urban, dense, asphalted environment. So as we celebrate our trees, today with this beautiful concert by David. Let's remember that the trees give us life, not just through the oxygen that they make, that we breathe, but also by providing us with shade, with active cooling, with flood protection, with carbon storage. And let's make sure that we redouble our efforts to make sure that we include all voices and that we prioritize those voices that have been for too long marginalized, ignored, suppressed, and oppressed. Let's redouble our efforts to root out anti-Black racism and criminal injustice from our society so that we can live in peace, in dignity, in community, supplied and supported by the earth and the sun because we are all part of that beautiful ecological system. So thank you again for joining us and enjoy the rest of this beautiful concert. Thank you.
Hi, I'm David Ibbett of the Multiverse Concert Series, and we're honoured to be here at part of this event to celebrate the ecology of Cambridge, beautiful trees uh, that we still have uh, to enjoy. That's a little more complicated at the moment, but um, we can still go for walks if we're able, and um, the incredible work of Green Cambridge uh, to preserve uh, the trees and um, preserve them for future generations. Um, we were able to do this event uh, outdoors last year and we were able to uh, raise some funds for Green Cambridge and, and celebrate um, the uh, wonderful sycamores and we didn't think we would be able to do it this year with all the challenges but somehow we, we've come together at the last minute. Um, I'm so glad we're here um, to uh, just take a moment to reflect uh, and appreciate the ecology and the wildlife that we have and, and think a bit about uh, what we can do to preserve it for the future. And, and Stephen Nutter of Green Cambridge will talk to you about that. Uh, so that first piece, uh, Sycamore Life, uh, was a sycamore uh, sapling gr growing up, uh, time-lapse by a British um, time-lapse photographer, Neil Bromall. Uh, we made that last year uh, to raise some funds for Green Cambridge. Um, and the next piece I'm going to play you um, is called uh, Water Romanza. So it's a piece about water, uh, but it's not just water on Earth. It's part of a project we're doing with Multiverse series. Uh, we're all about science and music. That's our passion. And that's the, uh, those are the events that we put together. Um, sometimes it's um, ecology. And we've looked at um, climate change from various angles and coral reefs and coral bleaching, um, which is a Sad story in many ways with, with a few uh, glimmers of hope. But this is part of Octave of Light, a program we're doing an album that's coming out uh, next year about exoplanets. And the basic idea of the album is that we can see uh, what is going on on exoplanets. Um, in the last decade, uh, we've been able to learn that not only are there thousands and thousands, uh, you know, an, a huge uh, diversity of worlds out there beyond our solar system. But not only that, we can see what's going on. We can take the dot of light uh, that a telescope collects and tease it apart to reveal the colors. And those colors can tell us what's there. And this first piece uh, is taking the electromagnetic spectrum for water in the atmosphere, in the infrared. And the concept of octave of light is to take those colors and map them into musical notes. So water vapor comes out, if you move it down by about 40 octaves into a audible range, it comes out like this. That's a small portion of the, the full spectrum, uh, but it works if you, if you transpose it down. And, and this piece is um, a celebration of water and how we know that there's water on other worlds. Uh, we're not alone as having water on atmosphere um, and uh, reflection on, on water and everything it does for uh, life on earth. This is Water Romanza. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, David. <laughs> um, that's a really good reminder that we're that we're not alone. Um, we have each other. It's all we have, actually. Um, Green Cambridge works to create a more sustainable city and to protect the environment and uh, for the health and safety of, of all. Um, this is our mission. We cannot have a sustainable city without prioritizing being a just and equitable city. I'm Stephen Nutter and I've been part of Green Cambridge uh, for about three years now. We believe that some of the best community building happens outside where we can repair relationships between us um, and with our local environment. So we focus on bringing people to our farms in East Cambridge uh, and Riverside, growing our urban forest, um, storing uh, our urban wilds like the alewife and celebrating our local environment with kids through our wildlife arts program. Um, and just a note, you can enter your drawing. So you can go outside and uh, make a drawing of a bird or a tree or a bug or anything you like uh, and enter it, uh, if, you're, if you're school age, enter it at greencambridge.org forward slash art challenge and you can win prizes. Uh, that's a program between us and Cambridge Local First. Cambridge is made up of 4,000 acres that we all share. And no matter if it's public or private, a street, we're part of MIT or Harvard's campus. This land is our land and how it is used affects us all, but it affects our under-resourced and vulnerable individuals and families the most. The COVID-19 crisis um, exposed some really long-standing vulnerabilities in our economic and health and food systems, including here in, in Cambridge. And the latest episodes of police brutality across the country has put a spotlight on the deeply ingrained fractures and privilege that stretch past 400 years that we all still live in. It's this broken relationship that is often reflected in how we value and we treat the environment. And as our climate changes, repairing these vulnerabilities and relationships is critical if we're going to adapt to a hotter future here in Cambridge with two thirds of the land um, affected by sea level rise. So we're working on this today. We're building gardens across the city. We're working with the school system and out of school programs. We collaborate with the city and the state uh, to make positive change in this 4,000 acres of our world. And we want to reallocate more land for people, for growing food, for housing that is affordable to purchase so that people can build wealth in their families and for space for kids to roam. I invite you to join us at, uh, and learn more at greencambridge.org. And thank you and enjoy the rest of the show. And thank you for, for all that everyone has done. Thank you. Hello again. Uh, it's very hot here. <laughs> um, we're having a, a wonderful time adapting the programs that we do for streaming. Uh, it's a challenge. I mean, the whole of the arts community uh, is, is trying to learn Zoom and all the other platforms. And uh, we've had a lot of help to put this show together uh, from the uh, CCTV team. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to introduce um, our final performer for this segment. Uh, Beth Sterling, soprano. Uh, she's going to sing a, another song. It's from our um, Exoplanet project, Octave of Light. Uh, this one is about trees, uh, trees on other worlds, that is. Um, we, uh, it might not be as um, far-fetched as it sounds. Um, we're able to study, we, we obviously understand photosynthesis and the way that pigments work and chlorophyll with our trees here on Earth. And there are some very uh, strong signatures that, uh, that plants give off in the light, in the infrared. And we know that chemistry doesn't change uh, wherever you are. Chemistry is universal. So there is a good uh, chance that we might be able to find trees on other worlds. Uh, the trees, maybe they, uh, they might be green. We don't know what they would look like. But we know that in the light, they would display this distinctive bump in the infrared frequencies. We call that the, the red edge. Uh, this is the um, uh, science collaboration that we're doing. 
so Beth is going to sing for you. Uh, she's singing with a, a digital orchestra that we put together um, in the background. Um, the, there's a violinist featured, Amelia C, uh, who recorded her part. But Beth is going to sing uh, live from Belmont. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Beth Sterling, soprano with Red Edge.
Thank you so much, Bear. <laughs> Round of applause. Um, we're running out of time. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you again to Beth. Um, so we are encouraging donations to Green Cambridge. Uh, Stephen will talk about that. Uh, but anybody that donates to Green Cambridge today will get a digital copy of uh, our album, Octave of Light, which has the last two pieces on it. So if you've enjoyed the music, you can support Green Cambridge and you'll get uh, the album when it releases in November. Uh, that's all from me, Multiverse Concerts. We have one on Tuesday over the Science Museum. Uh, it's free. Um, come and check us out. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Hello. Um, welcome back. That was an incredible, incredible concert. Um, let's see if Stephen, Stephen, did you have more to add? I just wanted to say uh, thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for coming. And um, if you would like to support Green Cambridge, that, that would be wonderful. We, uh, we survive on our donations, greencambridge.org uh, forward slash donate. And you'll get that uh, free album from, uh, from Multiverse when it comes out in November. So thank you. Great, thank you, Stephen. That, again, that was an incredible concert. That was the concert for the Sycamores. And to find out more about the concert or the Multiverse Concert Series in Green Cambridge, you can visit their websites. Um, and there's links to both of those on our website, the Cambridge Arts uh, Council .org, uh, website. So, and again, there's much more art related to science and climate act activity on our Stream Festival site. So please take some time to explore everything that Jennifer Lawrence and the Community Development Department and our partners have put together there.